we are going to simplify expressions to solve equations. Remember, a simplified expression means that every variable with every power only appears once. So there's only one x allowed, or only one y allowed, or only one b allowed. And that all the constants are combined as well. And this is an important step in solving equations because it gives us a better feel for what our steps need to be so that we can add the same thing to both sides or subtract the same things from both sides or multiply or divide by the same thing to both sides using those properties of equations. So we're going to start with a simple example. Suppose we have 4b minus 3 plus 2b equals 5 plus b plus 7. So if you look on the left, notice we have a 4b and a 2b. Those combined, 4b plus 2b is 6b minus 3. And on the right, we have a 5 and a 7. So those are going to combine. Move the b to the front. 5 plus 7 is 12. So now I've simplified both sides. Since both sides are simplified, I can use my properties of equations to get all the b's on one side, and we like a positive b. So I'm going to subtract b from both sides so that I have a positive left over since I'm moving the smaller of the two. And since I'm moving the variable to the left, we'll move the constant to the right. So we'll move the 3 by adding 3 to both sides. 6b minus b is 5b. Minus 3 plus 3 is 0, so we don't need to write it. b minus b is 0. And 12 plus 3 is 15. Now we divide both sides by 5. This gets our b by itself. And we end up with b equals 3. Well, we want to make sure that answer is right, so we plug it back into the original. 4 times 3 minus 3 plus 2 times 3 equals 5 plus 3 plus 7. So on the left, 4 times 3 is 12. Minus 3 plus 2 times 3 is 6. And on the right, I can go straight to adding. 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 7 is 15. On the left now, we can add and subtract. 12 minus 3 is 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. And Notice we got 15 equals 15, so our answer checks out. And the only answer to this equation is b equals 3. So let's build a more complicated example. Suppose I have 3 times the quantity x minus 3 times the quantity x plus 5. Oops, let's make sure that's a square bracket. Notice I'm using square brackets just to show that they line up. So this one goes with this one, and this, these parentheses go here. Makes the nesting easier to see. Minus 4 two x times the quantity 2x minus 3 minus 27. So as we're looking at this one, again, we want to simplify. And so we're going to start inside the parentheses to get rid of the innermost set of parentheses here. So we're going to distribute the minus 3. So we're going to leave this 3 on the outside, and the x stays alone. But on the inside, I'm going to get minus 3x minus 15. And on the right side, I'm just going to distribute the minus 4 through. So we get minus 8x plus 12 minus the 27 that's already there. Now, inside of this bracket, I'm going to simplify my x's so that I only have one x inside of there. It just makes the distributing and combining easier later. So we get a minus 2x. Oh, I'm showing what I'm working on now, so let's make that blue. Minus 2x minus 15 equals minus 8x. And notice I have a 12 and a minus 27, so we can combine those to be minus 15. Now notice the right side's ready to go, but our left side's not quite there yet. So we need to still distribute. We get 3 times minus 2x is minus 6x. 3 times minus 15 is minus 45. Set that equal to minus 8x minus 15. Now both sides are simplified separately. So we can move our x's to one side and our constants to the other. And I'm going to move the smaller x, which is the 8x. So I'm going to add 8x to both sides. And then I'm going to add 45 so that the constants are on the right and the variables are on the left. Again, I did this because six, minus 6 is bigger than minus 8. So by the smaller one, I end up with 2x. Minus 15 plus 45 is positive 30. Now we need to get the x by itself, so we divide both sides by 2. And it looks like our answer is x equals 15. Again, it's always worth going back to the original and checking, making sure 15 works. So we'll plug it in. 3 times 15 minus 3 times 15 plus 5. 
equals minus 4 times 2 times 15 minus 3 minus 27. And the right side is going to clean up real quick here. So now let's do our order of operations. On the left, that means 15 plus 5 is 20. On the right, 2 times 15 is 30. Leaving everything else the same. 3 times 20 is 60. 30 minus 3 is 27. 15 minus 60 is minus 45. Minus 4 times 27 is minus 108. 3 times minus 45 is minus 135. Minus 108 minus 27 is also minus 135. Notice that our answer is the same on both sides. So that means our answer checks out and we are done. So that, again, remember the goal here is to simplify your equations on each side so that you can then move pieces around but only one piece at a time.